Hi everyone and welcome back to my art journaling channel. So today we're going to be doing some paper cut lace work using a very very sharp scalpel and dilutions paints and Dina Wakeley stamps and collage papers. So to do this page I wanted to have some warm colours on one side of the page and cool colours on the other. So I'm using dilutions paints, uh, squeezed orange, pure sunshine, crushed grape and bubblegum pink. Now, I made a mistake by adding in the purple. As you can see, uh, purple and the yellows and oranges make a lovely brown. But by spreading it round and scraping some of the paint back, you actually, it stained the paper below so you can actually get that purple still coming through. I sandwiched the pages together because I actually wanted to get some colour on the other side and when we start doing the paper cut, that will make sense. So on the cool side, I use the Vibrant Turquoise, Cut Grass, Lemon Zest and London Blue. I did the same technique, sort of mix the colours together, spread them out a little bit, stain the paper underneath, sandwich the pages together um, to get the colour transferred onto the other side. For this page, I also went in around the spine, just to, there was a big puddle of paint there, just to make sure that that big puddle didn't stay there. Now. Because I wanted, I was really excited and I wanted to get this technique done, I didn't leave this to dry as long as I should have. Um, and you can see me sort of going between two pages. The dilutions paints dry fairly quickly anyway, um, but I should have been a little more patient. I would suggest if you were doing this, leave it for a while to make sure it's really, really dry. You can also then, if it's dry, layer it up really easily. On the middle page, I've sprayed the black Dilutions Black Marble Ink Spray and it worked really well on the pink side because the page was dry. On this green side because some of the paint was still wet it actually marbled it together and sort of spread the paint around which is why I've got more even colouring of the paint. But I'm not too concerned about that because I know a lot of this page is going to be cut into. So on the bright green side I'm using the Dina Wakeley Collage Papers to just glue down random pieces. Basically, I just want to make an interesting background. I'm not really looking for a focal image. I just want to make something interesting that you will be able to see through the lace pattern work. So I'm using her Scribbly Girl stamp, some of the mic making stamps, some of the circles of text, which are my favorite, I think, out of all her stamps. I love things that have got text in them and I'm quite in enamoured with the circles. So it looks like a mess at the moment and I'm going in with the scribble sticks just to add a little bit of colour and just dull down that white a little bit. So I was using olive and the lemon zest trying to put some dots and circles in. And it worked okay and I sort of coloured it up a bit which I was happy with. So on the pink side I'm basically repeating the same process not making it symmetrical just but similar type um, papers and so on so there's a sort of a common theme between both pages but they're still different they stand alone on this page i actually started adding collage paper over collage paper as well thinking a little bit more about what i was doing particularly with those torso stamps and then going back in with the circle stamps the text in it and stamping over the top uh, you can see I'm not using a block. I generally don't. I'm a bit of a lazy stamper really, especially when it comes to sort of just mark making. Um, but the reason in particular for this page is I'm working at the very front of a brand new journal. So if I used a block, it wouldn't press down um, firmly enough. I needed to keep that um, area malleable with the, the stamp. Underneath my page I put a cutting board that I cut in half, just a thin plastic one. And around the edge of the page I just used some washi tape, I used the Dina Wakeley Media Tape to lay out a border. Now the reason I did this was because I want to have a strong edge to this piece so that it doesn't buckle or tear. And then all I'm doing with a very sharp um, craft knife, I like using the scalpel type knives, is cutting out just random patterns. I'm not drawing it out first, I'm just cutting out a shape and then seeing what fits into it. 
The reason for that is if I drew it out, I could be leaving pencil lines on my page. With the colour in the background, that doesn't really matter so much, but it would bug me, I think. And I actually found it really, really therapeutic just sitting there and doodling with a knife. Sounds a bit odd, but um, that's basically what you're doing. So making patterns and, and cutting out the excess. The other thing is because the paper that I'm cutting out is already painted, I've got a whole heap of pieces of paper that would look brilliant collaged back onto another piece um, in the near future. Particularly because I've sort of cut out those leaf shapes, you could make some really cool sort of flowers or leaves to stick onto a page. I also did these wiggly lines because I thought they'd be cool that I could journal on either side possibly and to do some writing within them. I haven't quite got to that stage, I quite liked just leaving it the way it was, but that was my idea when I did it, that you could have some journaling go across it and that have that as the lines to mask it off. Now, I've done a second sample, of, uh, this is my actual second page doing something like this. The first page I did this with, I used inks, uh, the ink sprays purely on um, to colour it. And while it looked really, really good, and um, by spraying, I left the ink spray to last. I didn't colour the middle piece where I'm cutting the lace work out with. I left that the sort of manila colour. And then at the end, once I cut it all out, I sprayed it black. And that really weakened the page. It curled and it tore in some of the cuts. So I would suggest if you are colouring the middle page, probably to use acrylic paint, because that's going to give a little bit of strength to what you're cutting out with and do it beforehand rather than after. It's just going to be a whole lot easier to paint it or colour it before you actually cut it out. You'll also notice I started from the right hand side and worked towards the middle of the page. The reason for that is, particularly doing those fine lines on the edge of the page, it gives the page more strength by starting on the right hand side and working into the middle where it's stronger nearest the binding. So you can see when I've got the cutting mat removed how this is going to work now that on the warm side you're going to see the cool colors peeling through and then on the cool side you can see the warm colors peeling through so I'm just removing off the masking tape or the washi tape from around the corner and that's basically it it was such a fun project to do and it's something that I'm going to be doing a lot more of I think in my journals to come this is my original piece and you can see I've started to do some doodling in the background which I'm really liking as well. So I hope this inspires you. Thanks for watching and see you next time.